special interest academy program came about um, through us recognising there's lots of young people who are spending extraordinary amounts of time each week training in areas like dance, singing, performing arts and as well as sports. So what we wanted to do was to, to develop a program that could um, provide um, an opportunity for those students to complete their SACE as well as a better balance between all of their training, um, their study and other commitments. So Isla and Alessia were inaugural students in the program. The original idea developed through a conversation with the Australian Company of Performing Arts who um, we recognised that their high performing um, dancers, singers um, and you know, performing artists were um, looking for an opportunity to develop those skills in those areas and to be industry ready. I sort of started getting into more and more dance and then our teachers collaborated with Debiton and sort of came up with this plan that I was really interested in because I was wanting to extend myself in my dance and my singing and my performing as well as still getting all those subjects in that I had been learning so I was really getting the best of both worlds. A few of my friends were in it and they really recommended it to me and I thought this is really what I want to do. So I decided that I would join the Special Interest Academy to better my learning in my dance aspects of everything but also still get my school and get done. Being the first performing arts students like to join the academy was definitely an exciting time but definitely very nervous as it's never happened before. It was a great experience and I definitely don't regret it. Matea used to go to a private school and um, it was wonderful for my other children um, and Matea being the youngest it was natural progression that she would go there. Um, however she wasn't interested in studies in school all she wanted to do was perform so when the opportunity came up to join a special interest program and to be able to go to school complete her schooling and still but be able to put more hours into what she loved. I knew that that would be a good blend for her. It would help keep her motivated with her studies, which I found she was losing before. Bringing her into a program where she could do performance studies three days a week and her actual school academic studies two days a week was a really good blend for her. It helped motivate her and keep her focused. <laughs> So what you'll find, the students in the Special Interest Academy all have a program tailored to them around their particular you know, interests and aspirations. So some of them are still wanting an ATAR pathway, so you know, the subjects that they've chosen and the way they've completed their SACE will look different to another student. We've got other Special Interest Academy students who are looking more for a vocational opportunity, so completed their Certificate 3 in Dance, um, some of them have gone on to a Certificate 4 in Dance teaching. Um, and using that as part of their SACE as well. I feel like I always loved school, I loved my academic side of s subjects and stuff, but I also had this other really big interest in my life that I was trying to balance. So I feel like this came along and I was like, wow, that would be perfect for me to sort of hone into my skills on both sides. I feel like I've learnt lots in time management and sort of just separating my dance from my school and when I'm here I'm trying to be focused and when I'm at dance I'm focused there. When I came to the academy I felt like it was a lot easier to juggle because I got that extra bit of support from Thebiton Senior College so it was really good to get that support from all the counsellors and teachers and yeah the one-on-one -on -one support was really good for me. I have completed SACE already from stage one but I definitely just I'm interested in also getting an ATAR just to open up all my opportunities in case I do want to go to uni in the future. Definitely a lot of help from the counsellor, like our counsellor, um, she just helped us, you know, talk about all our options. You know, like completing SACE, I would have finished at the end of last year and not worry about going to school this year. But I did want to get an ATAR, so I'm just doing three subjects this year, which has definitely taken off a bit of the workload for year 12, and it just gives me a better opportunity to excel in the subjects that I am doing. We have the benefit of having a really flexible timetable here as well, so we're actually able to try some different ways of delivering programs. We deliver um, subjects, say subjects, till 7pm, three nights a week as well, which gives a bit of extra flexibility. So maths is definitely one of my better subjects and something I enjoy doing and I definitely wanted to do maths in year 12. I didn't have any free time during the day to do my maths, like it didn't just add up with my schedule with my other subjects. So I decided to take on a twilight class for my maths which is 4 till 7 at night and then after that I will go back to dance and then I'll dance till 9.30 so it just perfectly fit in with my schedule. 
it's a bit of a crazy schedule, but you know, just having the motivation, you know, like I do love my school and I do love my dance, so just keeping motivated to keep them both and excel in well in both is just, yeah, a bit of a challenge, but it's good. What we also do is um, ensure all of our safe subjects have a flipped learning component where students can study um, when they're not here. So even though there'll be times the girls spent a few months in Sydney at the beginning of the year, they and they talked about the fact that they were able to keep up with their studies through the support teachers were giving them and also the online resources that they had access to as well. So that's a really significant part of the program as well. We definitely knew at the start of the year that we were, had to take time off for The Voice but we didn't actually know how much time because we didn't know how far we were going. But it definitely was longer than expected which was a bit of a challenge. My space experience has definitely been more flexible than I know other mainstream schools have offered. But um, yeah, I'm just so grateful that I've been able to complete my space but still do what I love and, you know, have the experience that I have. We are so proud of the girls and what they've achieved. Um, it's been a lot of hard work um, for them. Um, the, the juggle with um, their, their study as well as all of their performing and the amount of training that they need to do to be at that standard is phenomenal and I guess it's a real partnership. It's a partnership between us, the students, the parents and also their training, you know, where they're doing their training and in this case it's the Australian Company of Performing Arts. So we've all worked really hard to, um, you know, develop a program. I feel like uh, the Australian Company of Performing Arts in Thebiton have a really good um, communication with each other so they're able to communicate when something might be a difficulty and then work together which is really good because you've got both support from both ends and then coming to here we've got our counsellors who just look after us heaps and check up on us and of course our teachers who will give us a extension if we're really struggling or you know push us to get something done or sit down with us and help us out so I feel like the support here is amazing and also just our parents who put us at this program. They're very supportive because they can see both sides of the picture. I guess for us, I mean, the SACE is so flexible and um, if you look at each student as an individual and what's gonna work best for them, I think, you know, the, the SACE doesn't have to be a two year linear program with, you know, X number of credits in stage one, X in stage two, doing research project at a particular time. And really that's what we do here at Theberton, that we say there's no one size fits all. Where are you at? What do you need? And let's build the SACE around what's going to help you get there. I think every child needs to finish school. If they're able to, they need to finish school. Um, just to give themselves opportunities. But as far as what they're learning at school, I don't think the traditional model necessarily works for everybody. You know what their dreams are. You have every hope and desire to help them achieve those dreams. Um, but when it's actually realised, it's, it's incredible. It actually, heart actually feels like it's going to burst. Advice I would have for your 10s is to just, you know, definitely pick what you're best at and what you're most interested in because you'll definitely excel in those subjects. I mean, if you're doing something you're interested in, you're more eager to learn about it rather than doing stuff you're not really interested in. As, as an educator, I, I feel really proud that we can offer a program that's, that is a bit different to cater for students who don't fit into the, the regular um, idea of what a year 11 or year 12 student should, should look like. Um, our, our staff are amazing in, um, in the way that they identify um, student interests and student passions and develop ideas and programs around that and there's a long history of that here at Thebiton um, where our SACE teachers are so innovative in, in developing um, the programs but it's also the support that they give. The time that our teachers invest in ensuring that every student is, you know, can be successful and achieve their dreams is, is really amazing and it makes me really proud to work here.